What is up the world of the living? My name is Zlai XP and welcome! I forgot! Hi! Yes! What? Shit, what? What is up the world of the living? My name is Zlai XP I'm here with Pixel Rips and we're playing Chicken Block D! Uh, the map that is the sequel to the original Chicken Block and uh, we're... Yes, hi! Emphasis on the D because, yeah, I, yeah, it's, I made it's a, a... It's an important distinction. I made a boo-boo before this episode started that we are tragically unable to show you guys on camera, but I decided that it would be sensible for the uh, trader, the guy with the books that we... <laughs> the, the wandering bookseller that we found in the last episode. Yes. I decided, you know, we should probably... He's standing on the edge over there. We should probably try and, like, nudge him slightly further towards the middle of the island so he's a bit safer. And what I did was I threw a fishing rod at him. <laughs> and... <laughs> And that, and that had the effect of knocking allow, him into the Allow void. me to recreate, a, a, a distinct recreation of the events. So, um, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that was the thing that I did. And so... Um, oh, that was and, horrible! And so now his lawyer is no longer uh, allowing me to trade books. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, practically speaking, that means that we can just get on with whatever we were doing and hope that he well, comes back at some point. I mean, you say Zloy doesn't allow me to trade books. In reality, you can't trade books with a trader that you killed, Pixel Riffs. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. If you were the trader in this instance, in this in this dramatic reenactment, then, yeah. uh, yes, turns out we can't get books from you if you're in the void. So, uh, yeah, we, we decided we're going to expand the melon farm just mm -hmm. so we can have access to more seeds because uh, the breeding program kind of has to go into overdrive for us to do this by brute force guesswork. Well, I mean, you say brute force guesswork, but I just figured out that the, what the recipe for the um, leather chicken is. Oh, really? And leather chicken is one we never used, we never got to. Yeah, it turns out it's just sand and red sand. I have no idea how I never tried that. Probably because yeah. it sounds incredibly incestuous. <laughs> I mean, it does a little bit, yes. But either way, uh, it's it seems to be working because we now have a leather chicken, well, who yes. is uh, just just casually walking wandering around over here. Walking suspiciously like a clay one, but we're gonna you know let that slide. Another funny about the the, the breeding program is that even if we do have new recipes to to have fun with, and there goes the chicken to drown. Yep, can you not? Can you not drown? Can you not? Can you not? Oh my god, okay, get out. There we go. I don't know what I expected and I'm still disappointed. <laughs> so even if we do have new recipes, uh, that don't mean that we have seed to, you know, exploit them. Especially if you want to try and speed it up by uh, force feeding all of the mini chimkins into maxi chimkins. So we, we get we better pick up the slack. Luckily, we do have enough dirt and grass and all kind of chickens to potentially continue doing our melon melon field. What are the code? What patch? Melon yes. patch? Melon patch? What? Did, I don't know what melons grow on. Possibly. Yes, they don't grow. They don't grow on trees. Is the important thing. So uh, we are <laughs> we are having to. <laughs> Farm them for all they're worth over here. I mean, you say, they're worth like, quite a bit right now. We do have tr a tree farm already, so if yes. there were a tree situation, actually would be better and faster. Right. And I'll need myself a new net. Another thing about the about the specifics of the chicken breeding and why we need to hurry the heck up with that is that the knowledge trader only really has the most expensive books left. So there's a certain argument to be made in uh, in favor of getting as many chicken tokens as possible. Yeah, yeah, the chicken tokens, we can kind of farm, because if you breed a couple of the chickens together, the eggs hatch really fast, like the gravel chicken and the mycelium chicken. But yeah, we still need to do that whilst also figuring out which combinations of chickens are going to be to our benefit. And then he can sell us a book that tells us the one thing we thought we tried, but then we didn't. <laughs> That sounds like a, like you're sassing me, but I know you aren't. No, no, that is entirely how this map works, apparently. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm leaving a few of the of the chickens of a particular kind in the yep, the, there goes my net in the chest. But I'm getting five and then another six uh, grass and dirt chickens, and I'm setting up a separate separate pen for them. In hopes that uh, we'll be able to exp wait. Why? Why? 
Why though? We have so much dirt. Yeah, we got quite a lot of that actually. It yeah, we have so, much, so, so many islands with dirt. Why are we talking I about? <laughs> I was just gonna go and get. It's, we're used to the skyblock mentality. We're used to the scarcity of of dirt and it being a valuable resource. When they're just throwing islands of the stuff at us every time we complete like arbitrary objectives. Yeah. Also, a chicken farm with for dirt is still not necessarily the best idea because no hoppers. No hoppers yet. Let's let's at least be optimistic about the future. All things considered, my best course of action is going to be to go and take apart that mycelium island, since I've already <laughs> repurposed a lot of the tiger island for, you know, fishing and stuff. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Mate, was that? I was I was not listening. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, again, again. We do have... Thank you, skeletons. Uh, we do have a, one book that says that leather plus wool equals so, equals something mysterious. Oh, and we have a wool chicken already, so I guess yes. it's worth a try. And the leather the leather guy is not grown. Never mind. The leather guy is not leathering yet. Do I have the wool guys? Yes, we have 15 of the wool people. <laughs> Dolls. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that what you call wool people? Uh, plushes, actually. But <laughs> plushes, <laughs> yeah. Or sheeple. I mean, the entire concept of an uh, animal shedding its leather is uh, pretty up, out there. Get ready to grow the heck up. So I'm taking it on faith that this mycelium island is technically a mushroom island biome. Oh, and uh, hoping that nothing's gonna spawn? Yeah, which it probably isn't, but hey, we're probably not far enough away for it to really matter anyway. Okay, leather guy grew up. Speaking of attention span, I already forgot what I was trying to get. Wool and leather. So, hide and hide. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be the sneakiest chicken out there. Hide and hide is what happens when hide and seek goes on for too long. Also, the cold chicken drops cold nuggets as opposed to cold. Cold nuggets? Yes. Uh, it's one of those maps. <laughs> it's one of those maps. Can you use cold nuggets as fuel? I do not know. I will attempt to. Nope. Doesn't even go into the flipping wolves. In, into the flipping... Uh, so, so. Okay, fun. Remember that entire episode of us trying to get a skeleton chicken? Mm-hmm. Well, that's null and void. Oh, did it? Oh, it, it it hatched the skeleton chicken? Yep. Ah, we already know that because we already have the skeleton. I don't know what I expected. I am genuinely surprised. There's also one for gravel and birch, and I'm pretty sure that that was coal, wasn't it? The fact that none of these make sense... Yeah, <laughs> none, of, none of them seem to be logical combinations. You, you're just saying like, I'm pretty sure this and this was this, and I'm just like, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, just just let me have it, okay? Let yeah, me have yeah. it. The knowledge chicken mascot gives you enchanted books. The regular chicken mascot, uh, the com like the trader chicken mascot, gives you chicken trader token. Mm -hmm. And the leather guy, uh, sun and red sand, produces leather and rabbit. Hide. I was also regrettably informed that we are idiots. Cause I mean, <laughs> we we knew this already, but in what way? Yeah. Uh, you you know how we were looking for the barrels and whatnot uh, everywhere on the ship. Yeah. We never looked under the portal. Unfortunately, out of like useful stuff, it only has sugarcane, sweetberry, bamboo, kelp, vines, a little bit of bone meal, oak sapling, and a lead. So that's a lot of stuff that we could potentially farm. Yeah, if we, that, like, that is really wanted that to. is true. I'm gonna leave the the farming bunch in the precious chest for the time being. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna <laughs> actually actually I lied. I lied to everyone. Yes, I lied to everybody. I'm gonna use the bone meal that we have to multiply uh, multiply it, and then I'm gonna use I'm gonna hide the, the you know the duplicates <laughs> away. You know, as a way to repopulate the bamboo. Just because we know full, know full well that I'm very reckless and I'm probably gonna lose most of it. You know, in case we need it. Can we feed the berries to the chicken? No, we cannot. No, I don't think so. Nah. Incredibly picky, these ones. Okay, the melon farm is more or less tripled in size. Yeah, by the by, here's, here's the Fortune 2 hoe that we have. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, wanted, I wanted to test if this would give me, like... Nope, it gave me one seed. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, not I mean, always admittedly, how it's randomized, works. but also admittedly... Yeah, yeah. I've been getting between 0 and 2 the rest of the time, so I don't think Fortune is going to do much for us. Just well, the remember good to... news, though, is that we did make it uh, all the way back to where we can create a cobble chicken. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, that's real nice because that feels like something that's on the way to iron. And iron is where we want to be, frankly. Because that's what really is going to give us the, the hoppers and make the entire chicken population a little bit more worth its, you know, its stay. Yes. We can finally exploit the chickens as opposed to just, you know, breeding them. We can finally seize the means of production for ourselves. So that means that I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 18 times 2 of seed to try and breed it with everything that we have. Well, good thing we got the big farm going then. Um, uh, well, yeah, for the given value of big. I've adopted the practice of putting cobblestone underneath all of this just in case we want to do anything with it later. But, Ow. um... Yeah, we will probably... I reckon we can expand this to like five or six rows, mm -hmm. and then that will hopefully be producing a melon basically every time we turn around. <laughs> All right. Uh, any particular it's... reason you decided to spread them out like one by one, or? I mean, it's not really going to block mm -hmm. any of them to uh, to spawn in any of these spaces. Like, if we if we just keep harvesting the melons as soon as we see them, then it it shouldn't be a problem for the others growing. We're going for speed here. <laughs> as much as yep. that is applicable to flipping melons. Mm -hmm. And like, if we had other crops to rotate them with, then they might potentially grow faster. But that is, that is a spider chicken. Was that the cobble chicken? Uh, it was the second cobble chicken I wanted to breed up. So, so we have at least one cobble chicken still. Yes. Okay, that's, but that's the important But even if we part. didn't, we, we can always make more. We know the recipe now. Yeah, it just struck me as the kind of thing where we would be like, wait a minute, do we do we have that? And then realize that the cobble chicken was never actually used in anything and we'd missed it the entire time. Well, yeah, that's why I said I need like half a stack of uh, seed just to double, triple, quadruple check how much uh, like every single available recipe for uh, the cobble chicken. That is fair. Though, I mean, to a degree, it feels like I already did that back when we had... You know, the one that was on the Sand Island. But if we learned anything is that uh, my pre prior experiences do are not to be trusted. <laughs> <sighs> the scientific method has abandoned us long before we have abandoned it. The problem being that the scientific method usually involves some sort of control and we have no control whatsoever. So, yeah, sacrificing a lot of fully grown melon stalks for the greater good here, but... Sooner or later, this will yield fortune, mm -hmm. and the rest of the time, I guess, at least the mob farm is still producing bone meal, so I can regrow some of these. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the steady supply of bone meal is incredibly nice. Yeah, it is kind of helpful, right? I'm, I'm going to start, like, every single survival world I do from now on with, like, a, a, uh, a farm like this, like a mob farm. Just it's have just a... the bone meal, and that's not to mention the uh, the gunpowder. Yeah, no, it's it's just a sensible thing to do. Like, there is never a point in this game where bone meal is not a convenient thing to have, and whether it's like from a skeleton spawner or from one of these, just just having it makes your life infinitely easier. It used to be like one of my go-to rules for how, like building a city on a server in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Because I used to play on like a public server, so it would uh, it would make sense to always have at least one skeleton farm because bone meal. Mm -hmm. So you would need a skeleton farmer, uh, not farmer, spawner, and uh, two of each kind of animal. You're like so it's just so I can repopulate the entire world if I need to. Absolutely, because again, public multiplayer server, animals on only spawn once, and mm -hmm. like because large chunks of the world are constantly loaded. You can't count on this passive uh, spawning algorithm. So you just out there being like, yep, 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 make a bunker with all of the all of the animals, just complete the Noah's Ark. You have no idea how many times I had uh, an enchantment table and all the bookshelves stolen. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. from, uh, from the community enchanter, it's embarrassing. Great! Our only cobble chicken got just murked by a uh, uh, Fred, uh, Fred Flintstone one. <sighs> the kicker is that the Fred Flintstone one hatched from our cobblestone chicken egg. So our second cobblestone chicken just murked our first cobblestone chicken. 
You all know something really funny? Yeah, what? I was uh, mashing at that witch to kill it, and there was also, I think, a baby zombie in there, so I killed that. Uh, guess what it dropped? Um, wow! <laughs> the the only iron ingot we've seen this entire time, and I just got it from a baby zombie instead of a chicken. Well, that's just a mockery, in it? It really is, and I can't do a whole lot with that, so I'm just going to put it in a chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm desperate to try to come up with something that we could uh, make out of one iron ingot. And I don't really feel that like we have enough of a use out of a one sh iron shovel. Uh, well, I do now have two redstone from that witch as well, so do you want to make a piston for something? Is that going to help? This is our second cobblestone egg in a row that hatches the hostile chicken. Yeah, I, I don't have a great deal of faith in whatever's coming next. Yeah. I'll have to review the footage of us getting a cobblestone chicken out to begin with, because at this point I'm starting to doubt myself. Are cobblestone chickens just a hoax? By the government to force us to farm more melon? <laughs> it could be. We're in, we're in the pocket of big melon and we don't even know it. <laughs> hey, remember how the mycelium chicken took like half a second to hatch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. I wish that happened again. <laughs> yes, cobblestone chicken is taking its sweet time. Yep. Probably it's gonna become a spider. Just never mind me. Just randomly hitting my head against the campfires in hopes to get mm -hmm. some bonil. The usual, you know. Man, I can't wait to automate that. That's what we can use the one iron ingot for, like make a piston yeah. to head bump us into the P thing. Pist piston with a slime block attached to it and just like fling us from underneath. Why would you even get slime? I, I mean, don't know. Slime chicken, there's... naturally, but there isn't one. There's got to be a slime chunk out there somewhere. It's just a matter of systematically finding it, which is really painful, but... Yeah, just it, when slabs it... the entire world. Yeah, when it happens, it happens. Speaking of our luck with the cobble chickens, uh, this is my second cobble chick. I have no idea where the first one went. <laughs> that's it hatched that's and then it disappeared. I'm pretty sure it drowned itself just like the previous ones. Uh, might have done. Might have done. And would you look at that? Hey, remember that joke about the chickens consistently making your, uh, you know, your thing kind of pointless? Mm-hmm. Check this one out. Where is it? Oh, I... Oh! <laughs> <laughs>